So it's now the end of May and it's planting out time. I've checked the weather and the weather says that there's no frost forecast for the next 10 days so ideal time to get the dahlias out. There isn't any benefit to planting out early. Um, if you get a late frost you, you, you screw it basically. Uh, as dahlias won't tolerate any frost whatsoever. So I've laid out um, 120 plants here and they're ready to plant out into the ground. Um, as, as earlier in the video, I used the air blowtorch to burn the holes in the Mypex plastic. It's the easiest we have found of doing that. Uh, and it's it's nice and straightforward. They're quick jobs, so nice and easy. Um, as I say, that's the plant that's going in mine. I've also got this patch over here, which I still need to burn the plastic um, to get them ready to plant out. These plants here in the tubs and trays are to transport down to my dad's allotment and I should get around 140-ish plants down, down his garden. So I'll set the camera up and I'll show you um, what fertilizers and stuff are at each hole and show you how I plant them out. So as I say, um, each hole is now cut and the space in between them is about 18 inches. Uh, 18 inches for the plants up to large and giants is uh, two foot distance apart. Um, so at each hole I'm going to add some mycorrhizal fungi, uh, TNC mycorrhizal fungi. Uh, that just releases uh, fungi back into the soil and positive bacteria. Also nutrimate and also eco thrive charge and the trusty slug pellets because the has love them. So just simply dig the hole. This bed's been motivated. Uh, it's been raining over the last few days so the soil is nice and damp. So I'll add some charge. A bit mycorrhizal fungi. I'm actually not going to use this on every plant. Um, just one bed. Is, uh, I want to see what the comparison is we're using this. So one bed will get the mycorrhizal fungi. Um, everything else will get all the other additives that I've explained in some new remate in there. Give it a little mix up. And what I'll do, the plants look nice and healthy. Uh, some of which the plants could have done with being potted up earlier, but due to the amount that I've grown, uh, it's fell by the wayside really, uh, plants have sort of been neglected but they'll sharp get the roots out. Um, so this variety that I've got in my hand here is Mary's Jamanda um, and you want to be growing that about 14 to 16 up. So that's it, give it a little ferment and that's one planted. Uh, remember in the plant table in each of the holes. So I'll get the planted out and um, I'll show you what they're like when it's finished. Uh, as I say, the bed's been motivated uh, about three to four weeks ago, um, and it's had a, a general fertilizer added, uh, just slow release fertilizer, which will release over the next uh, 15 to 20 weeks. So I'll get it, I'll get, as I say, I'll get it planted out and I'll show you what it's like when it's finished. Hi there. So I'm now at my dad's plot and I'm planting out the palms and the uh, smalls on his plot. Um, and as you can see here, um, this is a variety called Irish Glow and it's a palm variety. And with palms you need as many breaks on the plant as possible. So to enable that, you pinch out the centre um, when, when, it's, when it's got a couple of breaks on. So this plant here at the time had four breaks on. Um, and what, what, what you do is you pinch the centre out produces four side breaks or more um, and once the plant's established like it is now it's got four side shoots and what I want to do now is I'm planting them out is um, remove the tips again and what that'll do is encourage the plant to be a bushy plant um, so I'll pinch the tips out on all four breaks and hopefully I'll get breaks from each each of the four so that, that's that done um, that will get sat in the, the planting hole and then that will get filled up there. Um, and what will happen is at the end of June, 
so it's the it's the first week in um in june now at the end of june each one of them breaks will have produced uh, multiple more breaks and I'll, I'll remove the tips again to get an even pushier plant uh, the idea with palm varieties is to um get as many side breaks on the plant as possible to produce as many flowers uh, as some varieties are hard to keep under the the 55 millimeter uh, national dda society ring so as many breaks as possible so that's the uh, the palms there so i'm now down at my dad's plot um, and i've managed to get the dahlias planted out uh, i've planted them in rows of 10 and i managed to get 10 rows in so i've gotten 100 plants in so far um, on the on his larger plot uh, i should have enough room to uh, walk down the small paths in the middle hopefully um, but i've planted them um, in rows of 10 as i say uh, i've got two rows here of eastwood moonlight ideally they need to be grown on that cover but um, I'm, I'm growing other other mediums under that, on that cover so uh, they'll just have to bear the weather and fingers crossed we'll get some uh, a dry spell come August when they start to flower so Eastwood Moonlight I've got 20 plants in there um, up the top there I've got some palms in uh, Irish Glow and Red Carol in there um, Row of Ruskin Andrea a row of Kilmory and Sue's Kilmory um, from Charlie 2 a row, a row of uh, Clearview Edie in there I've got some Bryn Trafellin, John Hill, and a full row of, I think it's Janelle Amy. Um, and on the side there, I'm going to um, grow a row of palms, uh, probably mainly Carol in there. So that's my dad's plot. Um, I've got a small place down the bottom for some, um, for the grow pot tubers for next year. So there's a few more to go in yet, but plenty of time. So that's a daily I've planted at my dad's, 100 plants game on hi there so it's the 2nd of june and i've just finished planting out all of the dahlias um, i have got a couple of spares um, which i'm going to just pot tuba but um successful uh last couple of days the reason i've planted out a little bit earlier this year is because um of work commitments so um i'm going to be not around as much and give as much attention needed uh, over the next uh, seven days so I thought why not the weather's been good so not too bad uh, very very successful few days um, in total I've planted out 340 plants um, across mine and my dad's plot um, some of the varieties that I've got in here are I've got 20 Grenador Pastel um, 20 Kiwi Gloria and 10 um, Shervil Megan, uh, really looking forward to growing that this year. Um, and over the other side there, I've got um, Mary's Jamanda, Paul Vent and Christabel, and Kenora Challenger there in ten. Um, Kenora Valentine, lovely big red flower. And over the back there, um, I got told, uh, I think it was last year, uh, to grow your palms in the worst soil that you've got on your got Well, not worst soil, but just sort of not give them as much attention um, this that's virgin soil over there so um, I haven't grown anything in it I did manure it and I did fertilize it the same way as I have done all the other beds but um, the, the soil condition uh, wasn't as good as the two the two long beds here so palms in the corner there um, I've got it I've got to showed you a little video earlier about um, stopping the palms early to maximize maximize the the size but um, you want to be growing at uh, a minimum of 20 up um, and on some of the other varieties like Gren Grenador Pastel uh, you want to be growing 7 up um, the, way, the meaning of 7 up is uh, I've been asked a couple of times by a couple of people is what do you mean by up um, to be honest the, that is the thing I found most difficult about growing dahlias um, getting my head around the up uh, scenario so this this is a good example here and um, so each pair of leaves you get a break coming out and that will um, if you let it grow all the way out and then produce a flower on the end of it so 
you've got two, four, six, eight. So if I pinch the top out there, and then once the stems start growing, pinch another one out, that will be seven up. Um, so each variety is different, uh, each classification is different, sorry. And some varieties in each of the classifications are different again. Uh, it can get quite complicated and as I say, it's took me a year to work it out. Um, and I still haven't 100% got my head around it. So um, if you've got any questions about it, about growing up, up wise, just, just give us a shout. And if I don't know the answer, I'll be able to find it out for you. Um, but showing, showing daily as you need to grow them. Uh, the correct amount up to maximize the bloom um, size to fit it through the National Dahlia Society ring. Um, in my next video, once I stop the dahlias, I'll show you. I'll show you how to do that, uh, and I'll show you the National Dahlia Society rings. Uh, I've put a couple of canes in here, um, just to show you. This is how I'm going to be uh, supporting the dahlias as they grow. Some people use nets, some people use, uh, I think it's called pig, pig net and all. Sheep fencing and grow through that, but um, I grew I grew through canes last year. I was going to change my mind, but I decided to, to give it another go because it works. Um, it does give you blisters at the end of the year, and uh, I did help out one of the one of the biggest dahlia growers and uh, champion growers, Andrew Robinson. He pulled some of the canes out last year. And then it will blister us for a couple of weeks, pulling a thousand canes out. Uh, so it well, could have been two thousand canes, sorry. So you can imagine, um, I'm going to need quite a few canes for the cane up all the dahlias. Uh, I've got a bed over the back. I'll take you over the back. I've got a bed here. I've got 16 plants in it. Um, just grown for stock, really, but if I get some decent quality blooms on it, I'll. I'll be showing them. Um, I've got another 18, sorry, another eight Mary's Germana and another eight Chevel Megan in there. So uh, that's the, I would say one of the, the most difficult jobs uh, and time consuming jobs done as far as the dahlias are concerned. It's now just a case of uh, monitoring the watering, keeping on top of the watering and uh, feeding and then uh, short time come September and um, I'll be showing you uh, regular updates throughout the season but the most difficult jobs done now I think thanks for watching